It is now time for in other news this morning, and we're talking all things animals. So if you like that, stick around. Forget horse races. Have you ever seen a corgi race mm -hmm. Sunday in Minnesota? Oh. Corgis gave it their all in front awesome. of cheering fans. It's amazing. Legs. The event consisted of six trial heats featuring 72 <laughs> corgis competing for a chance at best in show. The winner was a pooch named Teddy. How cute are you? Brace yourself, <laughs> y'all. Wiener dogs are competing on all. August yes. 14th, and this is actually a major series. Basset hounds and bulldogs, they've already had their <laughs> events. The grand finale is September 4th, when the best of each breed competes for the Bark in the Park Championship. Who's your money on? Ooh. I didn't think you could get better than corgis, but <laughs> I, I do know. think wiener dogs will be up there. It's so bulldogs. cute. And I'm guessing the Basset hound race doesn't go With quite as fast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're trying not to step on their the ears. In there. I know, I'll have to enter yeah. them if they do chihuahuas <laughs> on the next round. <laughs> We'll have to see. A fancy restaurant that literally nobody asked for. Fancy Feast is expanding beyond cat food and into feline inspired human food. It's opening an Italian restaurant in New York City to celebrate the company's new line of cat food called Fancy Feast Medleys. Gatto Bianco, which means white cat in Italian, is described as an Italian style trattoria. The human friendly dishes are inspired by its canned dinners. You can enjoy salmon con pomodorini. That's just salmon and cherry tomatoes or beef ragu with tomatoes and pasta and a savory sauce. That pop up open for two nights only August 11th oh, and 12th. You need a reservation. Only 16 lucky cat lovers get to enjoy that free tasting. <laughs> menu. How about that? Yeah. Don't forget to try the furball dessert. Oh. <laughs> Go to Channel 20. Yeah, well done. <laughs>